Lima is full of exciting things that I didn't even remember. I am from here and I want to have a presence in my city, even though I have to live around the world on British Airways. That I was raised next to the ocean. I wasn't raised in the mountains. Many people ask me, does your mother have a, a, a llama, you know, and I'm like... <laughs> I moved to London in 1976, and I think in the late 70s, I went to the Photographer's Gallery because there was an exhibition that had been put together by a, an English guy called Paul Yule about this photographer called Martin Chambi. But I was quite impressed by this exhibition because I thought how interesting that the English are looking at my country and at this work. And what amazed me the most of this photographer was he documented in a beautiful way photographically many things from the environment, the landscapes, the people, but what impressed me the most was his documentation of the society of this place in the mountains that sort of emulated Europe because they behaved like, like Europeans, you know, they were the, the remnants of what had happened when the Spanish took over this region. And one photo of that particularly uh, impressed me was this group of ladies and you know the Peruvians, they have very dark skin, but they had all their faces whitened out to be more like the Europeans. I don't know, there was something quite endearing about it because in a funny way, I thought that it was a way of, of welcoming this new society and accepting it into their lives. And I was doing the opposite in a way because I, they, I was going there to try to be like them. So I don't know, I was quite moved by this exhibition. And of course, it inspired me years later to start looking at this sort of photography or style of photography. Before, there was this culture that Peru was all about the mountain. You, know, you go to the mountains and you see it all there as it is. And you come to Lima and you see it almost like uh, digested and presented in a different context. One of the things that I thoroughly adore is cities that have all the urban commodities and at the same time the possibility of the ocean. I would say that my favorite cities, of course Rio de Janeiro, London, fascinating. I find Copenhagen a sophisticated city. Berlin, it's a very exciting city for me because of the art world. New York, you know, you can't get, get any more than New York. But now I'm really curious about Australia and New Zealand and that other part of the world that I never go to. My experience with a reaction towards this show is that people, both Peruvians and abroad, are fascinated by this document of the dresses of this area. And I think that these dresses are made in, with the same love, with the same care, with the same attention. The exhibition is called Alta Moda because of its relation to how dresses in Europe are, you know, in haute couture, dresses are like the height of what you can acquire. I would love the exhibition to travel as much as possible. Part of what I'm trying to do with Mate, Mate is the name of this small museum that I've created in Lima, you know, in a way, bring from Europe or Americas or wherever what I see that is of value to share it with Peruvians and a way is to share Peruvian artists with the world as well by taking exhibitions abroad. Peru has the biggest variety of costumes or dresses. Every region has a different way of dressing. When the Spanish arrived to Peru, these dresses were sort of controlled because the Spanish wanted the Indians in the Peruvian community to adapt to their traditions. And so they were slowly eradicated. But people have been influenced by Peruvian costumes forever. These dresses have influenced many designers around the world before, like John Galliano. But what I find interesting is that now these dresses that were at one time controlled go back and are presented in the Queen Sophia Spanish Institute in New York. I've lived for 38 years abroad, and I've come to the conclusion that I want to be more in Peru, so now I've become obsessed with Lima. I come from Europe for two days. People think I'm mad because I spend two days traveling. The more I can bring the world to Peru, the easier it is for me to carry on with my actual life. <laughs>